From this Lego set that was literally made for an energy company to this minifigure that was only available for one day. These are 20 top secret Lego items you've probably never seen before. This limited edition Lego set called the Lego System House was exclusively made for the Lego Inside Tour in 2019. Only 80 of these sets were made and since they were only available at the Inside Tour, it wasn't around for very long. It's a pretty small set depicting the Lego company building in Billund, Denmark. And funnily enough, this set has an insane secret. Usually, Lego bricks are made by melting plastic at extremely high temperatures and pouring it into molds. But one of the pieces in this set was actually made by a 3D printer. To be honest, if it wasn't for the internet, I'd have no idea that Lego ever even did something like this. But it almost seems like Lego didn't even want people to find out about it. On the inside, this set has three different rooms, one of which contains the secret 3D printed piece. This thing isn't even visible once the set's been fully built. So unless you built one of the 80 sets yourself, there's no way you know about it. I have to say, this is a pretty well-kept Lego secret, but it's got nothing on some of the other ones in this video so be sure to watch until the end. This is the Lego wooden duck set, and you won't believe what you had to do to be able to get your hands on one of these guys right here. Believe it or not, it was actually a limited edition Christmas gift that was only handed out to Lego employees back in 2016. But in case that isn't enough for you, there's still more to uncover here. Back before Lego was making bricks, they actually made wooden toys, and this Lego set is an exact replica of the classic wooden duck, one of Lego's earliest toys. This is a super nostalgic set that not a lot of people know about, but there's actually still one little secret left. Using the string that's attached to the body, you can wheel this set around wherever you want, and when you do, the bill actually moves up and down, making it look like the duck is quacking. Isn't that great? This secret is pretty good, but that isn't the only LEGO secret that involves a duck. But this next one needs a bit of context. In a comic series by Stuart Moore, the superhero Deadpool and Howard the Duck got mixed together, and for some reason, LEGO really liked how that looked and decided to create a minifigure out of it. This is the Deadpool Duck minifigure, and the only way you could have gotten it was if you attended the San Diego Comic-Con back in 2017. In case you didn't know, LEGO absolutely loves hosting raffles at the San Diego Comic-Con. They've been doing it for years, and the items are usually only ever available through the raffle. As you can imagine, this causes them to garner a crazy price tag. The Deadpool Duck is worth around $1,500, and even though that's a super high number, it's actually on the low end for a lot of minifigures given away at Comic-Con. But believe it or not, there's an even more secret minifigure that's worth $1,000 less than this one. This is the Lego Batman Zurinar minifigure. And even though it looks super sick, it's actually only worth $500. It was available at the San Diego Comic-Con back in 2014, so it's actually older than the Deadpool duck. For some reason though, the price is way lower. That is, if it isn't in the original packaging. If you happen to have this minifigure in the blister pack it came in originally, the value jumps up $1,000. So if you have this thing laying around for whatever reason, I suggest you lock it up in a vault or something. Up next is a promotional piece for one of the biggest games in sports. This is the LEGO Stanley Cup, and it's literally the Stanley Cup, but branded in LEGO. This thing is from all the way back in 2004, and the only way you could have gotten it was if you bought this, the LEGO Championship Challenge Set. In my opinion, this is one of the coolest LEGO pieces I've ever seen, and I didn't even know it existed. For that that reason alone, it more than qualifies to be on my list of secrets. So let's move on to the next item. Up next is a minifigure that was only available at the grand opening of the Lego store in London. The secret minifigure I'm talking about is this guy right here, named Lester. He truly embodies the spirit of British culture. With his bowler hat, umbrella, and distinctive Union Jack coat, he's got the whole package. But since he was such a well-kept secret, he's pretty hard to come by. I mean, you literally had to be at the store when it opened in London. Who could have ever known that. Up next is an item that's based on a literal space probe. This is the LEGO Ulysses space probe set, and it was only available for LEGO VIP members. This exclusive set was sold on the LEGO.com VIP rewards website on April 14th, 2021 at exactly 9 a.m. So many VIP members tried to get this set that the website started having multiple issues, but even through all of that, it's still sold out in under 15 minutes. Now, you might be wondering, why would a set of a space probe sell out so fast? Well, it's because this set is modeled after a real space probe. It was made by NASA and in 1990 set out on a journey to study the sun, which is actually pretty cool. For some reason though, LEGO didn't want this thing to be available to everyone, so they made it for VIP members instead. I have to say this is pretty disappointing. This is one that I would have liked to build for sure. 
Up next is an item that was given away at the 2023 San Diego Comic-Con, but this one wasn't in a raffle. This is the LEGO Masters gift set, and the only way you could have gotten it was if you beat the scavenger hunt that LEGO set up that year. The set isn't worth all that much, but it honestly looks super sick. It comes with 107 pieces, and once it's fully built, you literally own a set that was given to you by LEGO themselves. I think I need to buy a ticket for next year's Comic-Con in San Diego. It seems like there's always some secret LEGO stuff going on there. This next item item isn't much of a secret, but that isn't why I put it on this list. This is the one of two 14 karat gold Boba Fett minifigure. And as I said before, this minifigure is no secret. So why am I including it in this video? Well, it's because no one actually knows where these minifigures are. There are two major Lego Star Wars collectors in the Lego community. The first one is rarest Lego minifigures on Instagram, and the other one is Lego Man Scotland on Instagram. It's speculated that one of these guys owns one of the two minifigures. So where's the other? one. Well, the truth is, nobody really knows. The closest people came to finding it was when a kid on YouTube posted an unboxing of his one of two gold Boba Fett, but it turned out to be custom made. So the fact is, the whereabouts of these ultra rare minifigures is completely unknown, and whoever owns them is probably keeping it a secret on purpose. I mean, I can't say I blame them. These things are worth a ton of money. Anyways, let's move on from hyper rare minifigures and get back to a secret Lego set. This is the Lego Vesta Wind Turbine set. Now, a Officially, there are two versions of this set, one of which was released pretty recently, back in 2018. But that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one from 2008 that was only given to some lucky Vesta employees. The set was actually pretty small, containing just over 800 pieces and only having three minifigures. But what LEGO didn't tell you was that they actually used mechanics from LEGO power functions in this set. Once you hook up all the wires and motors, the wind turbine actually spins on its own, and it lasts for hours. But since this set was released in 2018, the original got completely overshadowed, making it a little hard to know that it even existed in the first place. If you ask me, I'd say that makes it pretty secret. Up next is a set that was only on the shelves for a year before it was retired, the Black Pearl. The Lego Black Pearl set is a highly detailed and sought after set from the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. It was released in 2011, has 804 pieces, and includes six minifigures, four of which were only ever sold in this set. It was retired in September of 2012, after only 11 months of availability. So if you weren't paying attention, you were out of luck. These days, a sealed Black Pearl set can sell for over $1,000, with some listings reaching as high as $2,200. The set is super sought after among LEGO creators and enthusiasts, not only because of how limited it was, but also because of the rare minifigures and the fact that it's literally the Black Pearl. I mean, come on, we all want to go for a ride on that ship, am I right? Up next is a set from one of the best LEGO themes ever. This is the LEGO Ferrari F4 from the Creator Expert theme. In case you didn't know, Creator Experts contain some of the most challenging sets in all of LEGO, which means when they're fully built, they look incredible. And the Ferrari F40 is no exception. The set was released in 2015 and was only available for a limited time before it was retired from production. It contains 1,158 pieces and features numerous authentic details. This is just what you would expect from the Creator Experts line. And to be honest, the line itself is pretty secret all on its own. But but since the Ferrari F40 is such a famous car, I had to let you guys know that there's a Lego set for it. Up next is another super rare minifigure from the San Diego Comic-Con. This is the Green Arrow minifigure, and it's from all the way back in 2013. I don't know what it is, but it seems like Lego really likes giving away minifigures from Lego DC at Comic-Con. I mean, there are so many that I can hardly keep track. Anyways, the minifigure is decked out in a highly detailed outfit complete with his iconic bow. The intricate design and accurate representation of the Green Arrow character makes this minifigure a must-have for collectors looking to expand their superhero-themed Lego sets. That's a pretty tall order, though, because this guy usually sells for around $4,000. If you think this price is bad, though, you're gonna hate the next one. This is the Lego Black Suit Superman minifigure, and it was released at the same Comic-Con as Green Arrow. While this may be the case, Black Suit Superman is worth more than double what Green Arrow is worth. Yeah, this thing sells for upwards of $10,000. Only 200 of these minifigures were given to winners at the San Diego Comic-Con, but that price tag is still ridiculous. Up next is a Lego set that's similar to the Vesta set from before. This is the Lego Tree of Creativity set from 2018, and even though it's retired now, it isn't rare at all. Loads of people bought this set when it was available, but what a lot of them didn't know was that this set had actually already been distributed, just not 
in the way you'd think it'd be. The year before it released in 2017, 175 of these sets were given out to attendees of the LEGO Inside Tour. But since it got released again in 2018, how would anyone know if you had an original one from 2017? Well, all 175 of the sets were actually numbered. And LEGO only does this with the exclusive sets from the Inside Tour, so it's really easy to tell. The sets from the tour have sold for over $3,000, while the ones from 2018 sell for about $100, which is a really big difference considering the sets are basically identical. Regardless, this is another one of those instances where LEGO was definitely trying to hide the original set from the world. Nice try, LEGO, but we got you. Up next is a super rare item from LEGO Bionicle. This is the LEGO Bionicle Mask of Creation, one of the most significant components of the entire Bionicle franchise. The LEGO Bionicle Mask of Creation is considered to be one of the rarest LEGO items in all of Bionicle, and it's for good reason. This mask was only ever featured in one set, the Mask Maker vs. Skull Grinder set. It was released back in 2015 and retired less than a year later, so you had barely any time to get one of these sets. I think it's safe to say that if you somehow missed this set, you probably never even knew this mask existed in real life. Up next is a set that was made in collaboration with the shipping company, Maersk. This is the LEGO Line Container Ship from all the way back in 2010. It was part of the Advanced Model Series, which makes it a lot rarer than you may think. The Advanced Model Series was around from the year 2000 to 2014, but in those 14 years, only 31 sets were made for the entire series. Because of this, the series as a whole was kept pretty secret, which doesn't really make much sense to me. Regardless, the ship itself is pretty cool, and the fact that it's from such a secret LEGO theme makes it way cooler. Up next is a pair of Marvel minifigures that are probably worth more than your bank account. These are the LEGO Iron Man and Captain America America minifigures, but this time they aren't from Comic-Con. They're actually from the New York Toy Fair. These two guys were given away at the fair back in 2012, and even though they don't look like much, trust me, there's a big story here. Instead of being your regular Marvel minifigures, these guys are actually comic book versions, not like their counterparts from the movies. They've only ever been released at the 2012 New York Toy Fair, and because of this, they're worth right around $10,000. Now, even though these guys may be worth a lot, they fly under the radar of a lot of LEGO fans since they weren't from Comic-Con. Man, all this talk of expensive minifigures is getting me a little hopeful. I might have to check my own collection and see if I have anything that's actually worth something. Up next is another set from the LEGO Inside Tour, but this one is way more rare than the Tree of Creativity. This is the LEGO Old Kirk's House set that was given to attendees of the 2009 LEGO Inside Tour. And believe it or not, only 32 copies were produced, making it one of the rarest LEGO sets ever. The set is a recreation of the real-life home of old Kurt Christensen, the original founder of LEGO. The set was later repackaged and reproduced for LEGO employees as a gift. However, the original old Kirk's house remains highly valuable and sought after by collectors. One signed and numbered set recently went up for auction and is expected to sell for as much as $2,500. But I mean, this is no surprise to me though. We're literally talking about the founder of LEGO here. Last but certainly not least on my list is the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon. But I'm not talking about the one on the LEGO website right now. The one that I'm talking about is from all the way back in 2007. This absolute beast gets overshadowed by the new and improved one we have today, but we can't forget our roots. It's long been known as the most valuable LEGO set to date, and it shows. In one Las Vegas auction, a first edition in an airtight case sold for $15,000. So fortunately, it seems like not everyone has forgotten about it. What was your favorite LEGO secret in this video? Be sure to let me know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.